Good day, tubes. How's she going? So, um, today's not a whole lot planned for nothing, but, um, I did make her at the TSC and got some, some Deweys for, uh, putting this whole thing together. So, anyways, uh, show you that stuff. And I did pick up another hose, um, for the outside one out here with that stupid plastic hose in it. And it's, uh, more like a rubbery hose. So it should be a little more better and even come with like a little, uh, you know, the Deweys and the fillers and the, you know, a nice, nice little kit. I don't know what that one, oh, it's just a blower thing, I guess, for this. So it'll come with a little hand blower, but I don't generally like these too much, but, uh, now, hmm, interesting, it shows the guy filling up a tire here, and a tire here, unless it's in there somewhere else, I don't see the... The Dewey for filling tires, maybe that's it. I don't know, we'll figure that out after. But anyways, I got a bunch of Deweys and stuff here for, you know, for this. So I couldn't find a clear spot. I couldn't find uh, uh, the Deweys here. Where do they go? Uh, yeah. I got some more of these just in case, but I couldn't find uh, couldn't find these things in a three eighths. I don't know why they don't they don't seem to stock that. So, but uh, anyways, I got uh, you know uh, that'll go into there kind of thing, and then I uh, got uh, some three eighths adapters to go from there onto the onto the hose thing. So that's the way she's gonna have to be, I guess. And until I'm over at Princess Auto again, maybe I can get the proper ones there, but. Uh, I think that'll work for now anyway, so, but, uh, throw these over here for now, and, uh, interestingly enough, out at TSC, they sell this, the Hobart brand, right, so that's a welding tip for my gun thing, but it says Hobart and Miller, so I'm like, hmm, interesting, I wonder if they're making each other's things now, but, it's for a Millermatic 130 to 185. Well, I've got a 180, so I'm like, oh, okay. And uh, also they had tips, like the, the welding tip things there. So it's for the Millermatics too, it says there. So I'm like, okay. They look pretty close. It's pretty long threads, I know, compared to the, the Lincoln ones I used to get. But uh, and I just got some more of these to get for throwing in stock or something. I need that one. I need that one. And what are we gonna do here? We were gonna do this one. We'll just get like one of these end Deweys, and it'll just plug in. So if you unplug it, it throw this end, and then this one here, your hose end will actually get like the uh, coupler thing. Okay. So. We will need, not that one, we need one with the male threads, which I probably got one in my drawer, and we'll need one of these, um, no, we'll need one of these, for, for this end to go into there, so, and then that'll hook to your gun, right, so, we'll have to get a bunch of Teflon tape going here, and, uh, I probably got... Another male one there instead of having to open another package here, but let me just uh, have a look and we'll see. So we're just building our fittings here. We've got this one Teflon. I'm gonna tighten this on here. Fairly tight because you don't want any leakies. Air leakies. Makes your compressor run when it doesn't have to. And then we gotta screw on the uh, 3 8 adapter. Whoa!
I guess that's probably tight enough. Holy! Ripped right out of the vise. Okay. That's probably good. Uh, we need another adapter. Open. Open. Thank you. Okay, now we got a Teflon. This one here. So, uh, my thing's kind of peeled off here. A bit weird. So, we start the Teflon there. Wrap her around a good bunch of times. Peel her off. Put our uh, Fit and Dewey in the vise. Right there. And we'll start that going in. Hopefully. There we go. 19 millimeter wrench. And crank this guy down pretty good too. Now you can use this Teflon tape or you can use the um, pipe dope they call it. It's not what you're thinking, it's actually like a toothpaste-y kind of stuff. Then it'll actually harden itself in there after a while. But uh, I always seem to have pretty good luck with this with this stuff, so should be good there. Okay, now we'll take this over to um, the uh, hoses there. Okay, so I gotta make sure you get the right one on the right one here. That's yeah, the little wire whipper thingy. Let's put on here. Got double dual wrenchy thing we're gonna have to do here. It's kind of a pain sometimes, but lucky me on. Well, uh, you know what is there, so I can uh, kind of hold on to it, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh. Really tight, really fast. I'll just keep it right on. This one I could actually take over to the vise because you're not going to yank her out, but uh, I will just do her here. Do the same deal again. I'll put the dewy there. Use the uh, whatchamacallit spare tire. Nearly got me in the freaking, uh, you know, whatchamacallit. Uh, one more will do it. Okay. That's good. So I'm going to suck it in. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, so let's just make sure that we're all good here with uh, join in ish. Yeah, looks good. That'll hang like that. Actually, I might shorten this thing up here a bit. Uh, looks like I'll have to unloosen that, but that's okay. And I guess we can uh, go ahead and plug her in up here now and see what's going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out. Probably uh, save that as a spare hose now. Um, Probably go right in there. Sounded good. Well, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, good. And uh, yeah, here we go. I think we're pretty much good to go. So I took this thing. Uh, down a bit or up a bit or whatever you call it. It was uh, sitting right here so there was quite a bit more hanging out but now I got her 
to there, so I think that's probably a little better. And uh, I guess this thing too, you can, you know, turn her like that out of the, or not, <laughs> out of the way or whatever, you know. So, pull her out. She winds her all back in and push all the way. Must be 50 feet on this, so. Pretty sweet. Oh, I guess that means stop. good as that other one in the other shop. I like it because it's got a, a little thingy there that goes back and forth that guides it, you know. Um, but it's got that crappy uh, plastic hose on it, so I'm going to maybe grab it off. It's actually got a quick attach, uh, quick disconnectory thingy uh, that you can take it off. It's got this pin. So you mount this thing to the wall, but then it's got this, this uh, pin you take off. And then the Let's see how, yeah, there's the roller thingy there, you know, it goes back and forth, kind of in there to, to, to wind it back in, but I don't know exactly how these things come apart without them, you know, exploding like a recoil, so uh, we'll have to see. We'll get her off maybe and then peel it out and then see what we can do there, but uh, anyway, so just give you a little uh, daytime, whatchamacallit, update on the thawing project here. We're pretty good. We got a little bit of water there and then uh, the rest is all good here so this thing looks like she's melted off good I wonder if there's any up top still didn't actually look up there yet oh she's melted now how do I get down <laughs> oh there we go so uh, yeah whenever we get to oh that's working better now this stupid thing was all frozen on me yesterday See the levers down there moving? Uh, hang on, nice shot. There's levers and stuff down there that move. Well, down further, uh, I don't know if that's it there or not. I'll have to show you another time, but there's a couple little cam things that the levers hook to, and then it goes into the thingy that activates the hydraulics. Well, they were all frozen up, so, but uh, anyways, uh, whoa, bit of snow. Found some. This thing is all friggin' full of water here still. What a bloody mess. I'm just gonna get all this out and dump it on the floor, I guess, for now. Man, oh man. But anyways, I think my ownership and stuff is still good there, so but the rest of it's not too good. I don't know why I've done that, but these things will be all I guess they're okay. What a friggin' mess though. Well, that ought to be no good now. Oops. Let's actually go uh, take that to the garbage next time. Oh, that's good too. My buckets thawed out. It was right full of frozen stuff yesterday, so. Get rid of all this crap. My toe straps and stuff. Oh, there's a lighter that'll be no good now, just in case, you know. No. Don't smoke or nothing, but. Uh, it, uh, you know, was it just in case you got stranded out there somewhere and to look through all that stuff after there's a tool kit, that's probably <laughs> drainy. I don't even really know what's in this tool kit. Oh man. <laughs> well, let's look at that after, I guess. Anything else down in here? Some fuses, they're probably still good, but... Ooh, 10 cents, sweet. That after. Anything there? No. That's garbage. Some inflator things, oops. I'll throw that out and that out. Maybe get those sometime. But anyways, um, I thought there was drainy plugs under this, but I guess not. Oh, maybe there is. No, nope, found more money. Sweet. There is a drainy plug there. Oh, I just wanted it up my sleeve. Oh, there's a drainy plug. Ah! Oh, 
That feels so much better. Oh, trick you. Yeah, drainy plugs. Should have just maybe left them stupid things out. Oh, there must be one over here too somewhere then. Oh, gotta go again. Oh. oh, talk about relief. Hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. What do you say, eh? Anyways, that's good. Just still got some in the center there, though. But uh, Also, while I got this peeled open here, it's probably a good idea. I should maybe open this little cover here. And that allows you access to um, your radiator and stuff there, you know, on the top of the, the dewy. So it's probably a good idea to... Just have a maybe a look in here. There we go. Yeah, she's right up. That's good. That's good. Never had a problem with it, but you know, that's good to know. And uh, that cover comes off real easy, but it's a real nightmare to put back in because <laughs> it's got like a little lip and stuff there, right? You got to flick back underneath. So, and uh, you know, a couple of spare fuses. So I'll just leave that off for now. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, the inside of the inside of there there so well, that's good we got a lot more water on the ground but that's okay it's better on the ground than in there holy but uh, I'll just leave her there for now let her dry out and uh, look at the moisture in the lid too eh holy I think that must have got in there from when I uh, left it open I didn't leave it open like this but it was open like that it wasn't locked down that's the only reason I can see how the water would have got in there uh, I don't know I don't know other than that but I'm pretty sure I didn't pee in there. Ooh. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I gotta go make a phone call uh, for another funeral coming up uh, in the office there, and uh, and then uh, I guess we'll come back and maybe see if we can uh, yank this uh, other one apart here and see uh, if we can fix it. Well, uh, I got her off here and looking at her and stiff, and. That looks like that holds this dewy there. So I guess the best thing is to start taking all these screws off. That should take this top housing off, and then I'm gonna have to take uh, uh, probably these ones off too. And then that should free the whole top housing. Well, there'll be screws under that one, that cover too. There's this cover here that was on, cover, you know, like that sort of thing. So I'll have to uh, probably pop that other cover off and then. Uh, Start uh, taking some of these screws off, and then uh, we'll see uh, if that uh, will get us out. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't explode on me. <laughs> I don't know if I got it tore apart far enough yet or not. Um, just trying to think what's going to have to happen with my hose here. Uh, so that thing on the side here must be something to do with the locking mechanism. Hmm. 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 Oh yes, I guess this thing has to come off too. Somehow. Something 
probably still holding it here somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. This whole thing's maybe got to come off here, and then uh, I don't know. Hold on, tubes. Well, I'm gonna pop this last screw out of here, and hopefully it doesn't go boing on me, because you know that'd be bad. It'd probably be junk then. I don't know. quite yet either. Actually, feels like it's sort of held all inside by, oh, let's see. Uh, okay, well, pop this side off maybe here. One sec, tubes. Okay, I'm on my last screw here and I didn't like that last movement there. <laughs> it seems kind of springy. If you kind of know what I mean, yeah, like that. Uh oh. Oh, oh, no, oh, we're good. Oh, so how's that? Oh, that's the locker do, I guess. That click, 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 click thing. Hmm, okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Why does it feel like it's still locked back here, though? I must have clips back here or something holding her, maybe. Oh, probably in here, I bet. Betcha. There's a bunch of plastic stuff in here for some reason. I don't know where the heck that would have come from. But, hmm. But anyways, I uh, can't even see back there really, but I think there might be clip duties back in here. Whether there is, I don't really know, but I can't really see anything in here. I don't just want to tear it apart, you know, if it's got clips back there, they're there for a reason. Now, I'm wondering if something's still holding this together or something here. Wish I could see in there a little more better. There's like a little belt thingy in here, too. So I'll get that figured out, and we'll pop the sucker open. I think we're getting close. Okay, I got the bottom off, and hopefully I'm not wrecking this thing. But uh, who me, Mama? She's uh, got a belt drivey thing in here. Um, it's well, it's a belt thingy. Let me just take these off the tripod here, and I guess it runs the uh, the uh, feeder dewey there up at the top. So oh, hang on a sec, I gotta. Yep, see where I'm pointing you. Um, see the belt drive there? It runs off the big uh, thingy here up to a, a little dewey up there. Um, it drives the mechanism y thing to, you know, take the hose back and forth, you know, like that when you're sucking her back in. So, um, I don't know how much further I'm going to get this thing off of here. Um, so, totally dismantling the whole entire thing, but, um, and I'm still not 100% sure where the recoily thing is. It must be right in built inside, but and I'm not even sure how this hose even hooks on on the inside here. So there's the lock dewies, I guess. It tick 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 tick, and it locks in and stops it, the hose from sucking back in. Eh? Oh, just dropped the screwdriver. Oh, okay. So uh, what next? I wonder. It's sort of sitting in there loose, but it's just the belt thing that's holding it in. I think now. But. And I have to maybe take all this off and then take this hose off and then get this black piece off of here for uh, to uh, get the belt off to get this thing out. So holy crap, I might have to play this back to figure out how to put it back together. But i uh, get these screws, I guess, out of here and uh, see if it'll come off. So one sec, tubes. Okay, that may not be so good. <laughs> I got these screws out. These are like little locking dewies, I guess. So I pulled that one out, pulled that one out, and all of a sudden it went swing! I'm like, oh no. So we got that off. And uh, all this is, is um, 
this is where the hose, the air comes in, right? And this, uh, this sneaky hose here hooks onto it, and then all it is is uh, a couple of uh, O-rings in there, basically, inside like a cylindery thing where the air comes in and goes through. And uh, I think I lost my, uh, whatchamacallit, um, for uh, the uh, recoil of it, so that's not too good. Uh, <laughs> Plus, uh, I gotta dismantle it a whole lot more yet. Holy frig, this is gonna be a full time job. It looks like there's more screws here. Because I gotta be able to get into in there where the hose uh, clamps on there, right? So, holy man, I don't know. I'm gonna, I guess I'll take this cover off. I, I've maybe wrecked her now, I don't know, but uh, you know, this thing wasn't that expensive, so I may even just uh, grab another one of them when I'm at uh, PA again. Freak sakes, oh well. But anyways, uh, see what we can do here, too. That's all I can think. Take these screws out of here and see what happens. Well, I got her off. It wasn't too bad, but um, now i got to get the uh, hose through. So I'm going to take this fitting off, I guess, because it won't fit through the dewey there. And uh, get this reel off, I guess. And uh, I still don't know what it was that went twing, but it didn't sound good. <laughs> so anyways, let me get this unwound here, this friggin'... There it is, PVC crap. It's, just, it's not bad when it's warm, when the, when the temperature's warm, but this stuff gets cold. It, it just sticks up like a dried piece of spaghetti. It's freaking horrible stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, I guess I'll get her all unwounded, but uh, I don't know. I think I might have wrecked her. I think I might have wrecked her. Oh, well, what do you do? You live and learn, right? This was a good reel, except for the stupid freaking hose. I go, it's getting colder in here, it's getting stiffer. The more I'm getting into the middle of it here, it's getting stiffer and stiffer. It's still cold in there. I really pull it off when I first started failing off here. Holy, that was a freaking piece of garbage. Okay, I think we got her down here. And she is on the little thingy in here really good. I almost need something to get in there to warm it up. Warm it up a bit. Try not to melt the stuff on the inside though. Ah! Turn it here and warm this up a bit. Or not. <laughs> Stinks. Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. What was that? Oh, just out here. Whew. Woo! I think. I don't know, it broke off somewhere. Huh. Well, there's some high speed footage for us. <laughs> uh, but now, how the heck did this spring thing work? You would think it would be relaxed when it was in, or yeah, when it was all in, it would be pretty much relaxed and it would tension itself up when it, maybe it does, I don't know, something went, something went, Ding! so I don't know, I guess, I guess we'll try putting her back together and if it's no good, it's freaking no good, we'll just pull the new hose back out again, but uh, holy, what a freaking nightmare, <laughs> just to get a stupid hose in it. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, pop this sucker open here, and uh, I know it says made in China, but, um, you know, <laughs> um, all the great stuff's made in China. Oh crap, I don't got any scissors in here right now. It's okay. Cheap Chinese freaking zip tie. <gasps> That's for sure, pardon me. This is probably going to have uh, threaded fittings on it, so I'm going to have to cut one end off because that just kind of screws on, or uh, pushes on, so that's going to be kind of stupid. It's going to make this uh, hose kind of redundant, isn't it? 
you watch, I'm going to cut this off. It'll be a different bloody size, too. But anyways, uh, that's about all I can do, I guess, is cut her off. It's going to kind of suck, but... this chopper there. Oh, it's nice and rubbery even. Okay. That's all I can do, tubes. Well, she's junk now. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll just throw this down on the floor for a minute. Get this pulled back over here. Where the heck did those little pieces come from? Looks like they broke off of something, but it's in there. That couldn't have been in there. I don't think so. Hmm. It's weird. But uh, anyhow, we'll get uh, whoa. our clamps here. Through there, slide a clamp on, I guess, now. Uh, I'm just doing little brain stormages in while I'm kind of going here. These are really crappy clamps, too, but I guess they'll, they'll work. Um, that goes there, that's got to go there. That should slide on. Oh, it's too rubbery, I can't slide the thing on. There we go. That's got to go up here more. Something like that, I don't know. What the heck? Stupid clamps. Stupid clamps! I thought it was sort of buried down there more, but something like that maybe. Yeah, I don't know what uh, really makes me wonder what was that noise. I guess you want to make sure this one's tight here. Because when she's in there, she's in there. Um, now, well, I guess I better put uh, this Dewey back in. And uh, tighten this down. So yeah, what I'm thinking is, I guess if you start wind her back around again like it was and then feed her in put her back the way she was and then uh, you know we'll see uh, when we pull it out if it gathers its spring tension again and see if it's gonna work is I don't I don't know tubes like something's something went thwing on me there so I don't know what it was but anyhow I'll uh, get this hopefully wound up here nice again it's gonna be a nightmare by the looks of things so give me one sec Okay, we're wound, and it was, it was kind of a like fighting a string of jello, but anyways, we got her in. But uh, got that thing sort of fed in. We'll get her uh, belt up top here, and hopefully she's still on the dewy there. That's like a plastic belt, too. <sighs> I do believe this was next. I don't think that matters which way it goes on. Um... Get that on. Oh, there we go. Wasn't quite down enough. Hopefully this works. A lot of screwing around if it doesn't. And I 
guess we'll shove her back up into the housing. Those are all good. Make sure the hose is all good here. Get it bound up. Get the belt back in here. here I guess uh, hmm. Hmm. It's something that makes you go hmm now what am I missing here tubes missing something goes there, but uh, this went in here, I think it was underneath this thing. Probably gonna leak like a sieve after now too, I bet. <sighs> it does, it does. I'm doing this right, right? Wonder now if it should be. I think I got that right. Might have to look at some footage. Okay, one sec. Okay, I don't know, she wasn't working very good, but I'm just trying to give her a bit of pretension. But I think you really gotta watch how much you start with. Because if you give her too much, it won't come out <laughs> enough. So this is a big guessing game right now. Uh, I don't know. Then you gotta try to get the stupid thing fed back into the stupid thing here, so. But uh, she wasn't feeding too well back in, so I guess that's what that spoing was when I heard that spoing noise. Now, how the heck am I gonna get this back in here? Uh, 50 arms. That's not gonna work.
really screwed itself up here. Ah, oh, man, I might be just kiboshing this thing and buying a new one. Huh. It's not feeding right or something. Well, I'm not going to screw around with it much anymore. <laughs> That's okay. You know, I thought I might have been able to fix it, but I don't know, frig for all they're worth. I think that one was like 50 bucks or something like that, so they come on sale for cheaper than that even. So, uh, I don't know, stupid thing. I probably shouldn't just give up on her like that fast, you know, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they kind of ticked me off a bit, so I guess that's the end of that. Well, snowing again. Holy man, I guess I got roads to do, so... I better cut you off here today, Tubes, because I'm going to have to go uh, scrape these for a bit, but I might just wait and maybe see if it'll stop again, or maybe I'll wait until tomorrow morning. I don't know. We'll see, but uh, I guess that's going to be here for today. But anyways, Tubes, I'm going to have a quick bite deep before I head back out again, and um, we'll talk at you tomorrow. Um, I don't know what we're going to get into tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, have a good night.